Today, we're going to talk about price to earnings ratio. What is it and how is it calculated? But first, if you are new to the channel, go down and hit that subscribe button. We talk about investment strategies to become wealth giants. And if you find value in this video, smash that like button. So what is a PE ratio? The PE ratio is pretty much how much you as an investor have to pay a company for them to earn $1 in earnings. So as a real life example, say a company has a PE ratio of 10. So that means you as an investor have to pay a company $10 for them to earn $1 in earnings. How is the PE ratio calculated? The PE ratio is calculated by taking the price of the stock and dividing it by the EPS or earnings per share. This equals the P.E. ratio. So what is the average P.E. ratio? The average P.E. ratio ranges anywhere in between 20 and 25 in the marketplace. However, if the P.E. ratio goes outside of the average, that doesn't necessarily mean it is a good or bad company. So there are three reasons that I can give you right now that are very common in why the P.E. ratio can fluctuate up and down. The first one is when people lose confidence in a stock, typically what they do is they pull out, creating a supply higher than the demand for that stock, causing the price of the stock to drop. Now, because the price drops, the P.E. ratio will drop as well. Reason number two, people become very bullish about a stock because they think it's going to become the next shiznis and they want to get in early before it really does start raking in the dough. So that causes a lot of people to come to that stock, making the demand of that company really high while lowering its supply, which in return makes that price go up. And when the price goes up, the PE ratio will go up as well. Reason number three, and this is the most important part of this video, and if you get anything from it, this is what I want you to learn. Reason number three is the price of the stock remains the same but the company's earnings are increasing. This causes the P.E. ratio to drop. What is happening is nobody has noticed that this company's earnings has increased because nobody is paying attention. So what ends up happening is you get in at this point in time because the price is still low, but their earnings are high. And then when people start to take notice, the price is going to go up and you are going to make a lot of money increasing your wealth. That's what I got for you guys on PE ratios. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and become a wealth giant. I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video.